working man on YouTube and I'm bringing you another episode out from the side of my neck ladies and gentlemen boys and girls Nintendo fans of all ages out from the side of my neck presents the Nintendo Wii Awards using the 129 games I bought and other games I played this generation as source material I have created various categories selected the appropriate games to represent them and decided on an overall winner I will reward the winner of each category with a Wii Award. Each category will have five games that qualify for it, with only one game being chosen as the overall winner for that category. All award winners selected is based off my own personal opinion and experiences with those games. So please enjoy the 7th generation video game Nintendo Wii Awards. Our first Wii Award is for a Wii Newcomer of the Generation. To be nominated, you had to appear on the Wii first and had at least two games on the system. The nominees for the Wii Newcomer Award are The Blob, Bloombox, Epic Mickey, No More Heroes, and Red Steel. And the winner is No More Heroes. This generation across every platform, there has been no character or new exciting franchise like No More Heroes. Travis Touchdown is cool and No More Heroes is action packed. Let's hope we get another game on Wii U. Congratulations No More Heroes. The next Wii award is for best Wii multiplayer party game of the generation. Games you will play more likely with your family at home. The nominees for Best Wii Multiplayer Party Game are Guitar Hero World Tour Mario Party 8 Wii Sports Resort Mario Kart Wii and Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games and the winner is Wii Sports Resort The only game to surpass this in overall time play was the original Wii Sports. Still, with the inclusion of Wii Motion Plus and games like basketball, Wii Sports Resort is the overall better product. Congratulations, Wii Sports Resort. Our next Wii Award is for Best Wii Casual Experience. Games designed to offer you quick bursts of gaming entertainment. The nominees are Wii Play Motion, Big Brain Academy Wii Degree, Geometric Wars Galaxy Blastworks Build Trade Destroy and Tetris Party and the winner is Big Brain Academy We Degree a game that feels like a game show and just as quick congratulations Big Brain Academy We Degree the next Wii award is for best motion control Wii game these games use the Wii Remote in the way Nintendo had hoped games would have. The nominees for Best Motion Control Wii Games are Elements Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbaros Treasure Tiger Woods 2010 Red Steel 2 and The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and the winner is Red Steel 2. While Red Steel made promises they never fulfilled, Red Steel 2 accomplished those promises and even surpassed them. Red Steel 2 added another dimension to the somewhat stale first person shooter experience. Congratulations, Red Steel 2. 
The next Wii Award is for Best WiiWare Game. The overall best game created for Nintendo's online downloadable game service. The nominees are Sonic 4, Fluidity, Mega Man 9, Cave Story, and The World of Goo. And the winner is Cave Story. A game that was designed as a tribute to the golden age of gaming. Cave Story is a game that is perfect to be on a Nintendo console. Congratulations, Cave Story. The next Wii Award goes to Best Fighter on Wii. The nominees are Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up, Naruto Shippuden Class of Ninja Revolution 3, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tainichi 3, and Tatsunoku vs. Capcom. And the winner is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, this is the best Dragon Ball Z game ever made. The only thing that held it back was a horrible implemented netcode. Congratulations, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. The next Wii Award is for Best Third Party on Wii. Who provided the best content for the Wii throughout its lifespan? And the nominees are Sega, Capcom, Activision, Ubisoft, and EA. And the winner is Capcom. Third parties have had a love-hate relationship with the Wii this generation. For every great game they made, they also released some complete garbage on the Wii. Overall, Capcom made games this generation for the Wii I couldn't stop playing. Congratulations, Capcom. The next Wii award goes to Best Third Party Game, the single best game developed by a third party for the Wii. The nominees are Sonic Colors, Red Steel 2, Monster Hunter Tri, No More Heroes 2, and Silent Hill Shattered Memories. And the winner is Monster Hunter Tri. Great graphics, smooth online connection, and hours upon hours of gameplay. Monster Hunter Tri is the best third party game on the Wii. Congratulations, Monster Hunter Tri. The next Wii Award goes to the best online enabled Wii game. The nominees are Mario Kart Wii, Call of Duty Black Ops, Monster Hunter Tri, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Animal Crossing City Folk. And the winner is Monster Hunter Tri. Monster Hunter Tri has a server online structure that provides voice chat and a system of regular scheduled special missions. Monster Hunter Tri is your best online Wii game. Congratulations, Monster Hunter Tri. Our next Wii award goes to the Return to Glory Nintendo franchise. New games to Nintendo franchises who have been missing in action. The nominees are Excite Truck. Wario Land Shake It, Punch Out, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and Sin and Punishment. And the winner is Punch Out, a perfect new title in a great old series where the added Wii Remote Controls took this game to the next level. Congratulations, Punch Out. Our next Wii award goes to the best looking game on Wii. The nominees are Super Mario Galaxy, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Monster Hunter Tri, and Xenoblade. 
And the winner is Super Mario Galaxy. From the opening moments, while you watched the star bits fall from the sky, you knew you were about to experience something beautiful. Super Mario Galaxy is the best looking game on Wii. Congratulations, Super Mario Galaxy. The next Wii award goes to best soundtrack on Wii. The nominees are Super Mario Galaxy 2, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Xenoblade, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Sengoku Balsarai. And the winner is Xenoblade Chronicles. A soundtrack that takes you on a magical journey, making every new area discovered a ear pleasing moment. Congratulations, Xenoblade Chronicles. Our next Wii Award goes to Best 2D Game on Wii. The nominees are Miramasa the Demon Blade, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Kirby Return to Dreamland. Rayman Origins and Donkey Kong Country Returns and the winner is Donkey Kong Country Returns as if the Super Nintendo era never ended this game continues the tradition of great 2D gameplay with current generation effects congratulations Donkey Kong Country Returns our next to last Wii award goes to my personal favorite Wii game of the entire generation. These are games I play more than any others and I couldn't live with myself if I had missed them. The nominees are Xenoblade Chronicles, Monster Hunter Tri, Sengoku Bolsarai, Miramasa the Demon Blade, and Call of Duty Black Ops and the winner is Monster Hunter Tri. With over 700 hours played, my first time with this franchise will not be my last. This is the one game that will make me buy a rubber console if I had to play it. Monster Hunter Tri is my favorite game on Wii. Congratulations Monster Hunter Tri. The final Wii Award goes to the Wii Game of the Generation, the overall best game on Wii. The one game that embodies everything Nintendo Wii was all about. The nominees are Monster Hunter Tri, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and Xenoblade Chronicles. And the winner is Super Mario Galaxy 2. One of the best overall games on the Wii. This game shines in every area from graphics, sound, gameplay, length, and overall satisfaction. Mario has added another masterpiece to his gaming library. I hope you enjoyed my special Wii Award episode presented by Out From The Side Of My Neck. Hope to see you in six years for the Wii U Awards Show. Take care.